one's more difficult is because when you're looking on your phone, you can't find the answer for this one. And I kept on searching, but I just couldn't find it. So one thing that you guys could do for this, sorry. Okay. Maybe we'll try that later. Okay. So what I'd like you guys to do is again for this one, the best pri the best route to take would be applying the cross product. So in this case, I'll apply the cross product here. And z, z, uh, z minus one. So now we apply the cross product. Again, I keep my equal sign. So on this side, I have nine times z minus one equals seven times z plus four. Okay. So now, I'll say it again. Nine times z minus one equals seven times z plus four. Correct. That's why I put the line through them to differentiate the z's from the twos. So whenever you see the little line, that's going to tell you it's a z. But it has a curvature. Yeah. Yeah, but I put the line in there to say it's a z. Okay. So now we can apply distributive property. So I have 9z minus 9 equals 7z um, plus 28. Okay? But now we have an issue, right? Because now we have a z on both sides. So to do this, Devin, we've got to make sure we get the z on the side. same side. So to do that, I'll subtract. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 7 times z and then 7 times 4 is 28. So now I subtract because I'm going to get my z's on the left side. You could put them on the right side if you'd like. In this case, now I have 2z minus 9 equals 28. Now it's a two-step equation to solve. I'll add the 8, or add the 9, I'm sorry. And I have 2z equals 37. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Z equals, again, this is not something that we can simplify, so I'll just leave it as 37 divided by 2. Okay? You could do 18.5, but I'm going to leave it as a fraction. Where are you getting? No. Oh. I, now you're messing me up. That's 2Z divided by 2. Okay? All right, so one last example, then you guys get to do some work. <laughs> 